Richard in particular would be spending a lot of time skiing alongside his dogs. Keep them so that the tips are like that. Don't worry about him. You need to go a bit more downhill or level your skis I out. Go downhill or slip! James wasn't much better. James, please put them on. Yeah, I'm coming down here to put them on, otherwise I'll just fall over and it's pointless. It's the same here as it is there. Push off and then to stop, just kick the arse out of the skis with your heel. Yes, don't cross them. Kick oh, off. thanks a bunch! It's taken me 20 sorry, minutes mate. to get there! We can go together, go on. No, I've only got one ski on. Oh, God, sorry, 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 sorry! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> sorry! 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 Right. Um, we've done... See where we've come from? Yeah. 30, 40 yards. And you've got 400 miles to ski. Jeremy! <laughs> So we were then taught how to erect a tent. Our instructor was a former Special Forces soldier who arrived with a pixelated face. And he was very bossy. We can do this now, or we can do it at 4 o'clock in the morning. I don't care. The only good thing is, is that it can't possibly be colder than this in the Arctic. Because it's broken that one, you have to push it. You've now got poles stuck in here that you have to get out and you have no way... I didn't back. break it, it well, broke. broke the elastic then? The man with the funny I'm face was getting right. more and more irritated. I've just had a brilliant idea. What's the idea? Why don't we just tow a caravan? James! And feed it through. You want to Yeah? yeah what are you doing? Put your foot on there. I need your foot on there. If this blows away, that's it. It's game over, yeah? There's no, one, no, There's one, no, no like, oh, we'll just cancer. get another tent down the co-op, yeah? It's a case of this tent is it. That's not going well. We haven't got that end. I missed in. it! Look, these are packed with ice, these things. Tent, take it back to where we're putting the tent up. Finally, quite a bit later, the tent was up. It's. I don't think you can sleep in it. Sadly, our ordeal was not yet over because the man with the ruined face was going to show us how it would feel to fall through the polar ice. Right, in your own time, I want all three of you to jump in. What's the problem? Well, hang on. So, at the pole, we'd all three be standing in a line with safety harnesses on, holding poles when we fall in the water. It's a silly test. I'm not doing that. And actually, to be honest, the whole point of this is that you have to be able to take your clothes off and put more clothes on again very quickly. And I've practiced that in the hotel room. What frankly. is it when you've got, like, a tingling down your arm and chest peg? It's gone in. That's it. Put yourself out. Come on. Put some effort in. Drop the pool! How oh, dare you! Hands above your head! Hands above your head! Hands above your head! Okay, roll in the snow! Roll in the snow! Roll in the snow! Roll the snow, Jamie! That'll make you much better rather than a big pink fluffy towel. That looked awful. Uh, I'm staggered. <laughs> Do you know what, though? I like to think of us as a unit on Top Gear, and as a unit, we've done that test. 